All right, easy like Sunday morning. So this is a Sunday morning shave and it's different than a lot of the shaving videos I've done recently. I'm actually just doing this for fun. Now, a while back, I just happened upon doing shaving videos because I was doing a video challenge, video a day for the entire year of 2017. And when you're doing a video a day for a year, you're always looking for new content. One day I happened upon a product, One Blade, and it really started me looking at the shaving segment. And the one benefit of that, getting into shaving, is that I've actually learned more about the technique of shaving, a little bit about the history and the different products. And one of the trends today is double-edged shaving. The old razor that you might have seen your, your grandfather use, the Gillette Stubby. And it uses a traditional old school blade. You buy these guys in bulk, you can really save a buck or two. And not only that, there's an art to it. There's an art to shaving. So I'm gonna do this shave today for fun. I'm gonna teach you novices about the three pass shave system. I'm just gonna have a little fun with this. So this right here, this razor was sent to me by a good buddy, Jason Lutz. And he does lots of wood turning, he makes beautiful products. Lootshop.com, check him out. Description box below, I'll leave a link. This is a, was actually made from the barrel of a Louisville Slugger bat. So this kit here was turned from a Louisville Slugger bat, guys. I wanna thank Jason for sending me this beautiful shaving kit. So let's get going. Let's load this blade up. Hold it on the edges so you don't get yourself nicked up. And this blade actually rests between two sections of metal. You screw it in like this and it tightens up. So the blade's here and you're protected by these two pieces of metal. The first thing I'm gonna do for you newbies, I'm gonna prepare my skin. I always like to take a shower because it opens up the pores. The steam from the shower opens the pores up and it really preps the skin. So I'm going to hop into the shower and I'm going to hop out and we're going to get going. Sunday shave, guys. You probably see this on Monday. Sunday shave. Let's do it. All right, fresh out of the shower. Now the shaving purists are not going to like this part. And if you are like a purist, if you're experienced, you... You want to swipe away. This is really for you novice folks. It's all about technique. And one of, I think, the barriers to this type of shaving is really all the fuss about the lather. It's difficult making lather from a bar of soap. It takes a little practice. And I've gotten my share of criticism for having terrible lather. So I'm going to use Gillette Foam Mousse because I don't want to worry about it. I just want to have fun today. This is a great product, guys. I love this product. You can get it at Target for about $1.99. It's a light mousse. Goes on nice. There's a good barrier there for protection, but it's not too foamy. I would suggest this until you get your lathering skills up to par. I would suggest you get a product like this, and this is a great product. I have my Badger Hair Brush soaking while I was in the shower in warm water. And here's my badger hair brush. Since we're using the foam mousse, you don't really need the brush, but it's part of the art of shaving that I will stick with today. I'm also gonna put my blade in some warm water just to get that ready. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of warm water to my face, but as you know, I was just in the shower, I opened my pores up. Now there are pre-shave oils and all sorts of rituals that you can get into, and that's the beauty of the DE shaving phenomenon. It makes us metrosexuals, gives us a lot of toys to play with. Now look at that. Nice, lightly scented, foamy, and I'm gonna use my brush, my badger hair brush, whip it up a little bit, and I'm gonna apply this to my beautiful face. See, it goes on nice, guys. And I didn't have to tell you that I was using this Gillette foam. 
I could have faked it that I perfected my lather, but I'm keeping it real on on this channel, guys. Keeping it real. I like to use that brush to paint the face. Push that lather in, paint the face. Again, lootshop.com, guys. I will leave a link in the description box below. So I'm going to do three passes today. I'm going to do the first pass with the grain of your hair. So typically, your hair on your face grows downward. So shaving with the grain would be shaving downward. First pass is with the grain. Now, on the neck, many people have hair that grows in all different directions. But typically, the hair on the neck grows upward. So shaving with the grain, you'd have to flip the blade upside down and shave upward. So first pass with the grain. Now, with the double edge razor, you have double edges, two edges. Double edges, use them both. Don't spare an edge. You wanna rotate as you work across your beard. The other thing is, try to use a 30 degree angle and let the razor, the heft of the razor, do the work. You're not digging, guys. You're shaving. All right, let's get going. 30 degree angle. Short, light strokes. Do you hear that? Beautiful. You want to flip that over. Nice. Smooth. When you, when you get this technique down, guys, you have no fear. And it feels really good. And it gets ultra close, guys. I'm battling a three-day growth here. And this blade has no problems with it. No problems. There's a nice heft to this razor, guys. Again, short strokes, 30 degree angle. Take your time. And flip the blade. called a double edge for one reason just two edges all right so now let's get to the neck that was a nice quick easy first pass on the face again we're gonna flip the blade up that's a nice shave you really can't get much closer than a double edge And when you take a less than perfect angle, you can feel a little bit of that resistance. When you're shaving with the perfect angle, with the DE, you barely feel that razor. Now here's a tip for you fellas out there that have an Adam's apple that's pronounced like I do. Move the skin to the side, away from the Adam's apple. And having that foam there, as a marker of where you haven't been, will help you address that area. You can also swallow hard and hold it and eliminate the Adam's apple for the time you're gonna go over it. I like to move the skin because I don't like to hold my breath. All right, one pass is in the books, guys. And it feels fine. Feels fine. And that was easy. No irritation because I'm using proper technique. All right. Let's hit it up. And we're going to go with the second pass, guys. And for the second pass, 
we are going to shave against the grain. Now this is gonna unroot those trouble areas or areas where your hair doesn't grow in the traditional manner. Areas in your face, the hair grows differently. So we're gonna paint the face. Feels good, guys. Using a brush, taking your time, the art of the shave, there is something very gratifying about it. Circular motions kind of push that foam in, guys. Paint the face. I had a guy tell me, what the hell is paint the face? You're supposed to use circular motions. There's a lot of snobs in the, in the shaving world, guys. But I get you. I'm still painting the face. Look at that phone. Look at that phone. Okay. Pass number two. Now for pass number two, you want to go against the grain. Again, the hair on my face grows this way. So if I want to shave against the grain for pass two, I'm going to flip that blade up, 30 degree angle. And I'm going to shave the opposite direction. And you hear that? Flip that blade. Short. Soft. Deliberate strokes. And again, if you make a mistake, you're going to feel it slightly. Again, guys, we're not digging. You're shaving. Now you see right here, I did cut myself, and I felt it before. It's all about technique. It's you and the blade. Now on the neck, if the hair grows up and you're shaving against the grain, what are you going to do? You're going to shave down. It's the opposite, guys. Here we go. Nice, deliberate, light pressure shave or stroke, 30 degree angle. And flip that blade. Flip the blade. Use both edges. Why the hell not? Again, our technique here, we'll push that hair to the side. Pass two is in the books. Now it feels good. Now for pass three, some folks go as far as to change the razor they use. Sort of like a sandpaper. They go from like a thicker grit to a finer grit. So there actually are uh, different razors with different profiles. The art of shaving, there's so much to learn. So prior to pass three, guys, it's really my chance to feel around and see or feel the areas where I've missed a little bit. So here's an area. Tend to be the same spots and on the jawline, under the nose, right around the chin. And for pass three, you know what, I'll forego the brush. Just put that on and rub that in. That'll help you feel for those, those areas. For the third pass, I tend to put my cream on or my foam on thinner because this is really a fine tuning pass. And for the third pass, guys, we're gonna shave across the grain. 30 degree angle. Deliberate, longer strokes now. You see that? Clip that blade. You hear that? Cutting across the grain helps to address those stray areas or patches of hair that don't cooperate, that don't grow traditionally. You hear that blade? Feels good, guys. Take your time. 
Don't fight the tool. Extra gentle and careful. Make sure to spend time with a light touch on those areas where you felt just you didn't really do a good job in the first couple of passes here. The third pass, nice long stroke. Do you hear that blade? Nice Sunday shave. be a little tricky under here. What I like to do is go with the face, guys. I let the face dictate, or the contours of your face and neck, dictate how the blade is gonna go. Don't force it. Believe me, you don't wanna force anything in shaving. third pass in the books. So I have a beautiful, close, comfortable, relatively nick and irritation free shave. I'm gonna rinse off with lukewarm to cool water. Oh yeah, that's nice. And you wanna pat your skin. You don't wanna scrub it like sandpaper. Your, your, your face, you only have one of them. And if your face is as pretty as mine, We'll take care of it. Finish it up with whatever aftershave cream you'd like, lotion. Try for an alcohol-free solution. And that's about it. I've enjoyed this Sunday shave, guys. It's really been good. I've been doing a lot of comparison reviews with cartridges and, and the like. And it's nice to just, you know, go the old fashioned route and uh, with the exception of the shaving cream, it's nice to pull out the brush and the double edge razor and have at it. So I hope you novices have learned a little bit. I certainly have had fun. Again, get over to lootshop.com and check out my buddy's, all his awesome fine woodworking. As usual, I wanna thank you for watching. I will see you next time. But remember, 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 you got to remember, keep pushing, play, and I'll see you next time. Hey, you're good looking. You are good looking. The purists are going to hate me for this.